12.30 on a very warm day, 92 degrees. We're gonna run a test for three Mevo cameras to see how they handle direct sunlight and heat. I'll be putting them on this post next to me with magnet mounts. They will take direct sunlight on the top and this side as the sun comes over. And the three variations that we'll have will be a camera that is uh, just streaming. A camera that is streaming while being charged. We'll run a, a portable battery pack into this one so it's charging. And then a camera that is streaming while protected by the the heat shield that we've, we've, we have for sale on our merch page. Uh, many reports of a camera that is charging will run at a lower temperature than a camera that is not charging. So we're gonna test that. We'll be checking what their temperature is to start with. 119 degrees, 122 degrees, and 103 degrees as it's been underneath this heat shield already. We'll let them, we will let them stream via multicam to a private Facebook page that I hold. I'll turn auto director on to let it change views every 10 seconds so they each get the same use. We'll let that run. We'll check it every 30 minutes or so to see what the temperatures are. At each test, my goal will be to check the temperature along the top of the Mevo camera. So I'll have to slide the heat shield off of the top and back each time to check that temperature. Um, they are each mounted to a magnet mount, which is made of aluminum and steel. So the heat, the heat dissipation that's built in to the camera as it comes down uh, toward the mount location should be working to draw heat into this area uh, even as it's building at the top. All three cameras are still attached and still streaming at the close to 30 minute mark. We just passed the two hour mark. As you can see, all of the cameras are still functioning in direct sunlight, streaming live 720p to a Facebook account. Auto director is turned on, so each camera is getting 10 seconds of shot time before it rotates to the next one. We'll do a quick temperature test and report those. 146 and a half on the top one. 155.1 on the middle one. 135.5 on the one with the heat shield on the bottom one. At about 15 minutes away from our goal of three hours, we have lost one of the cameras to heat exhaustion. The top camera, which only is the camera itself, there's nothing plugged into it, there's no heat shield on it. 
it has it has ceased to connect. It's it's turned itself off, as you can see, uh, no longer in its spot. It still has two dots of battery life, so I know it's not a battery exhaustion issue. It is it is a, a heat issue that we're looking at here. So we uh, we're down to two cameras. The go ahead and do a temperature reading here at two hours 45 minutes. The temperature for the one plugged into power is 156.2. Temperature for the one with the heat shield is 138.4. It is currently 95 degrees at 324 on June 29th in the area of Texas where I live. Too hot to sit out there in the shade. My wife and I tried for a few minutes and everything just starts sweating whenever it's this temperature, even when it's a little bit breezy and shady in the, under the tree. Um, it's too warm to stay out here. As we hit the three hour mark on our live stream with our test here for heat protection with the Mevo Start, uh, I will go ahead and remind us that the third camera, the one on top there, that has nothing added to it. There's nothing charging it. There's no heat protection on it. It died uh, probably about two and a half, two hours, 40 minutes in. It's temperature though, oddly enough, here, here's, here's an unusual thing about this test that, that we, we recognized as we looked at the temperatures. The, te the temperature of this one each time we measured it was lower than the temperature of the second one that's charging. The charging seems to keep it running, but it doesn't keep the temperature lower. I have no idea if that does any damage to what's going on inside the camera or not, running at a higher temperature than what it will cut off at when it's not powered. But the, the clear winner here, of course, is the, the heat shield. It ran a solid 10 to 15 degrees cooler than the others. Um, we'll take one final temperature test as we close out this, uh, this live stream. 160.7 degrees is gonna be our temperature for the one that is plugged in. 139.6 degrees for the one that is behind the heat shield and both of those cameras are continuing to stream just like we want them to. So my anecdotal results would say that the heat shield is clearly the winner, um, did the best job of offering heat protection to keep it in an operating range that managed to get a three hour stream in uh, summertime Texas heat, direct sun the whole entire time. Uh, it, it has done a great job. I, I do want to run one more test in the near future though. I would like to compare this heat shield to a submission that one of, uh, one of a fellow YouTuber and, and, and a subscriber to this channel, Superb Content Media Creator, she sent me an email that highlighted a heat sink set of fins that she has adapted to clip on top of the Mevo. And she says she's getting incredible results just by putting that heat sink on top of the Mevo. Um, and, and I'm sure she is. I, I'm gonna try to see if I can find something that's similar to run that test as well. Uh, I could just imagine having uh, this piece adapted so that that heat, heat sink could stick out the top and still offer the sun protection for the rest of it and, and see if we can't get that operating temperature even, even lower to, uh, to protect the investment that we've made with these Mevo cameras.